tips and tutorials to increase your online presence. Websites, social media, online donations, applications, databases, and more. This is OrgSpring. Hey everybody, this is Craig from OrgSpring. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to clone a WordPress website using MainWP, the WordPress Management Console. This is a great set of plugins that you can use to manage all of your WordPress sites. It's especially helpful for developers who manage a lot of WordPress sites on behalf of their clients. So what I'm going to show you how to do is to clone a website from one location to another location. And there, are, there are a few things that you will want to note, some housekeeping items here. You'll see here in the background I'm in my main WP management console and I have both sites here listed already. So uh, when we're talking about cloning, we're, we're talking about two sites basically. So we're starting off with site A. This is the existing site that we want to clone. And site B, that's where we want to clone that site to, basically the final destination. So this is useful when you have maybe a staging site and you want to push that site to live. You want to basically take it from one server to another server or one domain to another domain. Uh, they can be completely separate and you're basically making an exact copy of one site, pushing it over to another site, completely different domain, and uh, that's how it's working. So uh, the one thing you'll need to note with MainWP is both of the sites must be controlled and managed within the MainWP plugin itself. So in your main MainWP dashboard, we have here, for example, site A, which is the site we're going to clone, and site B, where we're going to clone it. Now, site A is a fully functioning site, and site B is just a simple WordPress installation. And uh, all we did was uh, create a site, and you'll see here we have just subdomain, and we installed WordPress, and then we installed the main WP child plugin. So I'm going to show you these two sites. They are currently live. You'll hear, see here site A dot demo spring dot com. This is just a, a simple demo site. And the only thing that's installed here is WordPress and it's running the 2014 theme. Uh, and that's all that's there. And then over on site B, we have simple WordPress and it's running the 2015 theme. There's really nothing else here except that both sites have the main WP child plugin installed and they are also listed on our main WP management console. So you'll see them both here doing that inside the actual dashboard of the site. So for example, we will go to site B, the site that uh, will eventually have the clone. It will receive the clone. So we will click on dashboard here and you'll notice that the main WP child uh, plugin is installed and that gives us an option to clone. So we have our entire list of sites that are available in my management console here. They're all available to clone. And what I want to do is I want to clone site A. So I want to clone site A here on site B. So I simply click that and then I click clone website. And it's going to tell us that it's creating a backup on site A. And it's a very small site you can see. The backup was created and then it was downloaded internally and then it does the clone. And you'll see we have a message here, cloning process completed successfully. You'll now need to click here to re-log in to admin and resave permalinks. So we'll just click that button. I'll log in. And we'll just put a custom permalink there. And then we will look at the site. Now you'll notice it's calling it site A because that's what the site was set in the original site. But when we look at the URL, we'll see it is actually site B. So what we did was we made an exact clone of site A and put it onto the site B site. Now this can work with any domain. Right here, we're using two subdomains of my staging server, but you could move one from a staging site to a live environment. The cloning process takes care of all the links for you. It rewrites those 
inside the database and takes care of any links that you have on your site. The clone works perfectly every time. Now, one thing I will mention with the main WP cloning is I've tested this up to uh, size of sites ranging up to about a gigabyte in size. Above that, you'll probably get an error from main WP. So for example, uh, here's a site that we have here uh, that is 570 megabytes. Here's another one that's 1068. So if we click this in site B and we tried to clone this website, you'd most likely get an error. And actually, main WP is pretty good about giving you that error warning. In the case you get an error, there's another way to do the backup. And that you can actually restore the clone from a backup. And the way you would do that is, is you would first run a backup of the site A, the site you want to clone. And you'd run that through main WP. You download that backup to your hard drive. And then you upload it right here. So you would choose the file and upload it. And then you would use this button right here, Clone Restore Website, and it will restore your website from that main WP backup. And that's a way for you to be able to use this to backup, or I'm sorry, to clone your sites when they're a little bit larger. Again, I've tried this just up to about a gigabyte in size, and it works really well. But with sites over a gigabyte in size, you'll probably get that error from main WP, in which case you want to try this other option. So two options to clone your site using main WP. If you have any questions, put them in the comments here or on the post that goes along with this video, and we'll try to answer them as quickly as we can. Thanks a lot.